Good morning everybody. I thought what I would do this morning is show you a little bit about the new links that we are using for home learning, just to make things a little bit easier as I know it's something different for us at home. I thought I'd start off with our English learning this week, which you can find on BBC Bite Size and I will be posting these links every Monday and you can keep clicking on that link for the learning every day of the week. All you've got to do is once you have clicked on the link on our class dojo here, then it will take you to this page. You'll see that these are your year three lessons and all I'm wanting you to click on is the orange English learning here. OK, and every day when you click on it, it should be at the top and it should have the date for the day. OK, so you can see today's learning is using similes and metaphors. So we're going to give it a click. OK, once you've clicked on this, it should take you to a new page and it looks a little bit like this. And it tells you about your focus for today. So your home learning focus is to identify similes and metaphors and be able to use them in your writing today. So this lesson is going to include two videos that are going to help you understand what similes and metaphors are and three activities for you to try. So this is the learning. As soon as you scroll down, you can see there is the first video. OK, and all you've got to do is click play. Big crowd in tonight, Jeff. Including Bob the superfan. Bob here has never actually seen Jess perform. Let's help him picture her in his head. We can use metaphors and similes. Hmm? OK, so a metaphor is when we say something is something completely different to help someone understand more about it. So for Jess, we could say... She is a star. Whoa! <laughs> Not an actual star, Bob. Or we could say... She is dynamite. Oh, he's done it again. Bob, not real dynamite. For similes, we use as or like to compare one thing to another. So for Jess, we could say... She's as fast as a cheetah. Or... As graceful as a gazelle. Well, today it's powerlifting. Ooh, that's bound to hurt! Yeah, uh, maybe we should have mentioned she's as feeble as a mouse. Once you finish watching the video, if it still isn't very clear to you what a simile or a metaphor is, you can carry on to scroll down and it gives you even more examples and information. So here, metaphors are a word or a phrase used to describe something as if it were something else. So the example that they give you here is a wave of terror washed over him. And it tells you that terror isn't actually what a wave is, but a wave is a good way to describe the feeling. OK, then here. Another example is Jess is dynamite. Now, dynamite is a stick of something that's explosive. Now, it's not saying that Jess is actually going to explode, but it's saying that Jess is dynamite as if she's exciting. If you scroll down a little bit further, it tells you more about similes. So a simile describes something by comparing it to something else. So you might use words like like or as in your sentences. And they've got some good examples here, too. And then it tells you why we use these things in our writing. It's important to know this as well and not just to use it randomly in every piece of writing we do. So here it says writers use similes and metaphors to create a clear picture for their readers. For example, the light was as bright as the sun gives us more description than the light was bright. It's really good and you can find a lot of similes and metaphors in stories. You might find it in advertising and it's really used to add a lot of description and give the reader a good visual. Then there's another video for you to watch. And as you scroll down a little bit further. You'll move on to your activities. OK, I'm going to go through activity number one with you. It says, check how well you understand the videos above by completing this short activity. You need to say whether each sentence is a simile or a metaphor. So if you need a quick recap and it's still not stuck in your head yet, maybe go back up and practice your similes and metaphors and practice what they would look like in a sentence. OK, it also has a really good tip for you here and what to look out for. So if you're looking for a simile, it might have the word like or as in. So that's a good tip to look for. So to do the activity, all you've got to do is click on the box, like so, and it should label come up like this. Sentence as a metaphor or simile. So label each sentence. So she is as slippery as an eel. Now I've seen that word as, and I know here it says simile say something is like or as something. So I'm going to guess that's a simile. 
A wave of terror washed over him. Now, I remember this example from earlier, so I remember that was a metaphor. The striker was a goal machine. Now, I've not seen this example used yet, so I'm going to have to use my knowledge of similes and metaphors. I don't see the word like or as in there, and it's saying the striker was a goal machine. It's not comparing him to a, um, a goal machine, so I'm going to say that's probably a metaphor. And let's check my answers. Correct. So it's as simple as this to do your learning at home. So go through and have a go at the other activities here for you.